What's up, folks? Uh, welcome to episode 5 of my Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia campaign on Ragnarok here. And we are going to be in a little bit of a messy situation. Just taken Chester with uh, somewhat minimal casualty. However, it's left our flanks exposed. Our home province is no chance. under siege. Or about Not to be possible. under siege by our brother now. Never. Our allies have taken this opportunity rather than help us no. and sort out their war coordination target. I had to come down here and scoop up some territory that Bell has left undefended and seems uninterested in defending its own territory and more interested in taking ours. Fun times. Alright, I, I sort of have a plan to sort this out, but we'll see if this, um, see how everything plays out. My warriors we're gonna will not falter. Groups, though, we're, well, we're gonna need this army back down here. We're also gonna need a distraction. Time, let's assign a governor. Go with the farmer, uh, because farms here, and I think we're gonna replace this with uh, granary. I, I mean, this building is a good building. However, um, yeah, we're, we need the food right now. Negative, negative more trees. So, go allow us to do that. Plus, we're going to one of our food temporarily. Alright, let's not work. There we go. Uh, I don't know uh name that, but whatever. Loyalty is not terrible. Alright, good. Alright, cool. So we've got a governor there now. Alright. We are going to need I want to recruit more troops. Command us. Or, cool. We will serve you well. Got a few more spears. Actually, before I forget, taking a look at this, I didn't realize this was open to us. It's plus 15 melee skill for our spear infantry units. Uh, will be valuable for us. Uh, we will want to go down here and get plus one public order and unlock the villa estate. Want to go down that route as well. For the glory of the Time. All right. So I need one general to recruit here, and one general to just basically cause a diversion, possibly, we can't. or at least. So we could recruit it here too. We should probably cancel this. Because more than likely we're going to the settlement. For now, let's recruit a general here. Let's get this guy. Let the enemy beware. Good. Fantastic. All right, let's take personal. Your loyal cost thousand. Try getting my wife. Nothing that can help. Influence is already. Seek a wife for plus five. Plus. Well, might as well take her hand. That's not not going to help her out in the current or help us out in the current situation. Damn it. It's cost. Awesome. Alright, so didn't work 
expensive than I would like. Sure. Yeah, we should have enough to do all of this. Get those units. Just need to get them replenishing right away. More troops in the field. Right here. Going through the last guy. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. We'll try again shortly. Alright, so this guy we're gonna use as a diversion. Probably we're gonna place him here. What happens is they're gonna take this settlement most likely, and then take this settlement. But when we move him here. You can either, you'll have to choose if he wants to come over and attack the general, or attack the settlement. And then if he attacks the settlement, we'll come back and take this settlement, basically. Uh, this general is duty. going to come back up this way and exchange Honor troops and with Anarot, Anarut, Anarut, well, let's keep Rodri's the strongest troops with Anarut, I guess, or at least the, the ones with the most in them. We are Arthur's folk. You can even merge some of these, but Anarut's got to come down here to sort out this army. My warriors will All not right. falter. It's kind of a convoluted plan, but can't afford to have a civil war right now, so we're going to have to give this guy an estate as well. But if he does get himself killed, then, then the estate should go back and All right, so got everybody loyal, but hang <laughs> loyalty is hanging by a thread. But Not absolutely need to get the situation sorted out. Go into diplomacy and just make some. So we, we will get some more declarations now. of friendship. We hope our because don't want any more border wars. That's gonna I hurt our, our to your propositions. After much thought. But you will get a fair hearing. Them. We will talk now. Much as we. All right, nobody wants to be friend. Great. All right, I think we've done just about all we can. Just gonna have to respond to the situation My and hope for the best. Food doesn't seem to. The negative effects don't seem to increase, so maybe once it goes down in red, go further. Never. For now, the, For the, glory of the negative effects beware. aren't too bad. Public order is going to be a bit of an issue. Of a problem. Anyway, fingers crossed that we don't get any rebellions. Alright, let's finish off the introduction here of Matthew's book, King Arthur, and then move into the first chapter. So, the modern medium, cinema, not being slow to take up the subject of art. Movies such as John Borman's Excalibur 1981, Harry Gilman's The Fisher King 1991, and Jerry Zucker's First Night 1995 have all added their touch of Arthurian magic in recent years. As I write, a new movie based on the story of Tristan and Isolde is in production, while two other film interpretations of the Arthurian story are set to appear on our television screen in 2004. The most exciting addition to the versions in the forthcoming is the forthcoming Jerry Bruckheimer production, King Arthur 2004. This dark age story written for the screen by David Fronzoni, 
of gladiator fame directed by Antoine Fuqua traces an unusual association between Samaritan warriors from the steppes of Russia ported into Britain. The Roman legends brought them myths and stories from the lands influenced the shaping of the saga. Illegitimate birth. Destroy. Lost. Alright. Yeah. It's curious there. Um, just, you know, the different spins that uh, these, these movies and this different mode of storytelling well. has on. This guy's got. So. Um, yeah, curious again as far as uh, it relates well. to a little bit with what Tolkien was saying with Aldrin, storytelling things like that alright governor is leveled up loyalty for the loyal so just can describe things and on, on another side note is that uh, John Borman's Excalibur is we are my folk. Favorite True movie of all time. Uh, just not possible. Incredible. Incredible. My warriors will not right, falter. Right up boat there. Step up now. Let's see if no chance. See if he takes the bait. I don't think he'll have enough. Oh, come on. For the glory of the country. Yeah, not so if he comes over and attacks him, then he shouldn't be able to take the settlement. Takes this settlement, then we can come back here and take this settlement. My warriors That's will time not to... Awaiting orders. Every man will do his Yeah, right, so Excalibur. If you haven't seen it, it's an awesome, awesome movie. We will uh, serve you well. So freaking good. Um and, and for a movie that was made almost country. 40 years ago, or 1981, it's uh, it, it's aged really, really well. So we are Arthur's folk, true of heart. It's gonna get more replenishment here, and I think we can risk the rebellion there. If we do get a rebellion, he'll be able to get over there. So we'll keep him there for now, Ready to serve. and Anarut will just pick up the troops as he moves here and just exchange them. My Is there any more troops available? Got another sword. Definitely will pick this up. It's really crushing our food. What we might do, we might actually disband some of our, our generals over here as well. For Ones the that we've been using to, to sack and pillage over here in Mercia. Just settle. Yes. Oh, good. Send them I've been lucky with rebellions so far in these provinces, and Every I man will do his only duty. assume that that's going to, going to have a negative effect on our war fervor. It rebellion, rebellion as well. Fervor's continuing to go down. Take a look at the two cats are in the scrap right in front of the computer screen. Yeah, sorry, I have two cats, Bruce and Pikachu, and not getting along. Kind of in a way. Anyway, this is kind of messy, I know, but it's really weak in Mercia. So it has worked for us, but. Whether or not we'll be able to hold on to the territory. We really need to consolidate this land here and down to finish them off. We will serve you well. How many settlements does Mercy have left? It's the all right. Two. 
tired. It doesn't look like... I think they've just got these three settlements left. We are Arthur's folk. So take this one. Fall upon them. Oh, yeah. As you say. As the level came up. Yeah, we're gonna become a beast. I just don't want to take any risks with the will. But I'm thinking we could probably probably expand. In Jesu's name. Generals now. By no means. Although our spirits are resolute. Eager for action. I'm gonna think about that. Probably should disband them. Just get to get the food a little bit more under control. At the same time, if we get like a more for them, My warriors will not then falter. could potentially. We can't. Ah, this force is growing too. It's recruited five. They were at eight. Now they're at thirteen. It's no At least our ally is moving to help us now. All right, we're gonna build the granary here. Would be nice to get a forge going. It's that additional armor though, plus five percent. It's not gonna make a whole lot of difference because I mean. Every man Look at this. Will do his duty. Armor 22. So what's 5% of 22? It's like, it's gonna increase the armor by 1. Um, go up by up to 20, maybe 24. Whereas this guy, his armor is gonna maybe go up by 1 point. This guy's probably not even gonna go up at all. I don't know why they're putting a percentage. When the armor is so low in the well. first place. Kind of. Glory awaits us. Alright, what was I gonna do here? Wait. He takes the bait, or I mean, it doesn't really matter if he takes the bait or not. We're gonna come back here and scoop this up. Then Every man will do his duty. Transfer over the units. Piano fruit, maybe. We are maybe merge some of these apart. units before we go into battle. It's getting a tiny bit of punishment. A lot. Anyway, yeah, I, I think we will disband the these arms generals now. Save a little bit of coin and food. Every man will do his duty. Don't believe it affects their loyalty at all. Five. Yeah. All right. Good. Rodri's son will prove his worth. All right, yeah. Have him stay put there for now. Just because he's getting more replenishment. Town. Uh, just quick check the diplomacy before we end the turn. I will listen to your propositions. After much thought. We will talk now. Much as we might. Alright. Now. We 
whichever of these new visions of the Arthur legend will succeed in catching the imagination of the public remains to be seen. Whatever the outcome, one thing is certain. Interest in the stories of Arthur and its heroes shows no signs of abating. It's more than likely that in another hundred years, they'll be asking for the tales of Arthur, just as they did within years of his departure from the stage of history. What form these stories will take, we cannot say. Only they will almost certainly continue to evolve around the age-old themes of love, heroism, adventure, and striving for something better of ourselves. All right, so it looks like they took the bait. Hopefully, they don't have enough to get back there. And they—they uh, they seem to be replenishing very quickly. They had we've got 18 units now, so they had eight units when they first moved to our territory. And now they have uh, 16. Anyway, we'll auto resolve this. Should be interesting. I'm good to see too if uh, that estate becomes available again. It goes back into the hands of the king. Anyway, yeah, perfect. So it doesn't have enough room to get over there. Might be able to defend. Just couldn't resist going for that general. All right, so that finishes off the introduction. So we'll start during the next end turn with the hero, which is uh, the title of the first chapter. Raiders, Raiders, right? Oh, we got Raiders on the side. Just to keep an eye out for those, My but warriors will not falter. to end some things first. Enemies, beware. I need to look for the action. We will serve you well. Get moving! Enemies, beware! All right. Where's yeah? Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about this too much. Them have it fun there. I don't know how that'll affect our. Definitely want to protect the settlement. Garrison, I want to get a horse back up there. Every man will do his duty. Eager for action, we will serve you well. We serve. We will actually use both these horses. Take on. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. Take on this army. Let's be Dig in and through. set watches. For the glory oh, we'll of the Cymru. Organize them a little bit for next turn. A little bit of an issue. Turn her down. But we can handle the loyalty. Plus 10% market when husband cover. Cover. I'm thinking. I'm gonna turn her down. Rather good. There are better wives out there, so. It's up to 60.
Mercia settlement. Left, so. I'm just gonna leave these for now. Actually, I wanna check the state situation. Yeah, did go back to the king. State. We are Arthur's folk. All right, hopefully, no chance. Strong. We should have them outnumbered, I would think. We will do you proud. Especially after lunch. All right, so the hero, Arthur, of far-flung fame, bearer of the host, giver of shelter, Arthur of the terrible sword, enemy all before. And on. Arthur and the Eagle. So, an age of darkness. Heroes come into being for a number of reasons. Sometimes it is to put a right to wrong. Sometimes to institute a profound change in society. Sometimes to bring back treasure, both of this world and the other. The hero known as, known as Arthur came into being in answer to a cry for help from a people in crisis. At the beginning of the 5th century AD, once mighty empire of Rome beginning to crumble, would last for another few hundred years but would never return to its former glory. But it had stretched from Africa in the south to Scotland in the north, from Spain in the west to Armenia in the east, Rome's borders were now shrinking back upon itself. And the occupying legions had begun to withdraw from outlying provinces, summoned home to protect the eternal city itself. Action destroyed. All right. No. All right. They did settlement. No chance. Sorry. No chance. That settlement. My warriors will not falter. Right. So did there. Every man will do Take his photo. duty. Expect new orders soon. Step up now. All right. Just thinking, bring have in second. Better keep them with enter, of course. Although, no. Down there. Four five. Four five. Move out! Advance, warriors! Never! Ah, uh, they just out of range. That would have been awesome we will for serve our you well. allies or resources. Would have been fantastic. All right, we should be able to crush them here. Hope so, anyway. Let's try and do this without many casualties. And with this army defeated, it should be in a very strong, very strong position. Into their territory and finish them for good. And then we can focus on consolidating our lands and, and just sort of like calming everything down a little bit, getting public order under control and sort of uh, managing all of our, uh, all of our territory, all of our problems. Okay, so we're attacking them, but the town is kind of cool. Anyway, yeah, for some reason we're deploying over the town. That one. Alright. 
weapons are applied. Swordsman. 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 Levyman. Alright, whereabouts are our forces coming from? Take this hill as well, but it's necessary. Fight out open here. Keep Anarut in behind for now. Nobles up. Back. Did you have a reinforcement from a rise? Send these guys over this way just to do, protect that flank if it's necessary for overloading one side with the cavalry. We are the cavalry! We'll ruin their day! They're all scout horsemen. Generals on the side though. Hold here. Stragglers to get over here. Yeah, I know I've said this before, but uh, the details in the game it looked fantastic, and it does feel very smooth. And colorful. But, yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure how I feel about it. I, have, I guess I haven't played it through long enough. Still, still trying to learn the game. But I'm not sure, I like it or not yet. 
needs thrashing. Heavy man. Shut to their forces. Kick those feet up. Heavy man. Quick march it in. Under attack. Oh, this is not good. I'm behind our flanks. We decided to. Alright, a little bit messy. The battle is turning in our favor. Good. good. numbers definitely uh, carried the day there. Uh, we don't really need to run them down. Just because... Ah, uh, they're sitting... Excuse me, sitting inside the settlement, so... We're good. Lost very little there. Well, I mean, 300 is still a fair bit, but to have a very sizable sword force in the field there. Right. Good. Yes, occupy. Aim for punishment. That's like awesome. Now. Eleven percent, that's good. All right, cool. We will serve you well. That's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll probably reorganize the army a little Every bit next turn as well, and this guy is he send him back this way towards Chester to um, defend this settlement, and then I guess we'll send him over here to Impossible. deal with this rebellion. And Anna Root will be heading be south to capture these lands down here and then we'll have to decide whether or not we're gonna turn on our other uh, our ally down so right take this back not possible I think you can quite reach it it's amazing so we should for the glory there next the turn anyway guys uh, thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment all that jazz I will see you in episode 6 Ragnarok signing out